if the past few hours have been truly intense the morning of this tuesday a car crashed into the house of kate middleton and prince william information revealed by the entire british press although we want to clarify a few things it's not that it crashed directly into delayed cottage but into the walls of windsor castle emergency services have been dispatched there and there's quite a bit of confusion regarding what happened however as seen in images a car has collided head-on with the walls of windsor castle one might think it's a coincidence after the widely debunked photographs allegedly involving kate middleton and i say photographs because we'll discuss them shortly after kate middleton who is simply seen in profile as for prince william according to an increasing number of people his image has also been manipulated purportedly from last year specifically from december 25th the last time we saw the princess of wales but focusing on the truly scandalous event this head-on collision with a car into kate middleton's house we have to say one thing we wouldn't think it's strange if accidents like this didn't happen every day however over this weekend a car also crashed specifically on march 10th at 2 30 in the morning into buckingham palace in london what is happening and why are cars crashing into what could be considered the most sacred places in england it's a form of rebellion perhaps a coincidence which seems to make the most sense but it's certainly very striking similarly striking is the revelation by english media outlets that someone quite unexpected was inside that house someone inside windsor castle none other than charles roman iii of england what a coincidence because charles roman iii of england does not reside there but on this morning when a car crashed into that house charles was inside the castle it's striking that a car crashed on a saturday and striking that another different car crashed this tuesday some say they are anti-monarchy groups or somehow connected to the various protests against the monarchy in recent weeks but it's still too early to establish such connections what's not at all unreasonable is what's being discussed in england once again as i mentioned in a video yesterday or the day before i think it's a real travesty what they are doing to kate middleton william or kensington palace are the ones who have mishandled things William supposedly took that photograph, and William, along with Kensington Palace, has put his wife in a precarious position when she should be protected. According to the Daily Mail this morning, Kate Middleton was the one who intended to be open about admitting she retouched the photographs, something that I believe hardly anyone believes, especially after discovering that Kate Middleton is a member of the British Photography Society. It's also quite striking these gross errors which the British press has exposed, but at the same time, it reveals that Kate Middleton feels terrible, particularly about her health, which they continue to attribute to her. Now let's focus on that last photograph, as I was saying. A huge mystery is resurfacing, and social media is making it go viral. The last photograph, for those who don't know, isn't the first one published by an American media outlet nor is it the second one released by the official accounts of Kensington Palace, all of which have been refuted by the media to the point where news agencies were deleting them. As of today, it's easy to find red circles in the photograph denoting all the irregularities reflected in this snapshot. But this last photograph, which seemed to be the only genuine one, corresponding precisely to a mysterious departure of Prince William along with his wife from Windsor Castle, Daedlay to Cottage. Heading precisely to the Commonwealth, as we all could see only William showed up, Kate Middleton had a private matter according to official sources from Kensington. Well, this photograph would also be false, as some social media users are claiming that this photo is reused, specifically from Christmas Day, December 25th, where we see quite a few similarities. And we notice a rather revealing detail. It seems once again, someone needs to hire a Photoshop expert within the British royal family, because otherwise they won't be able to keep passing off fake photos or trying to deceive us. Many denounce that it's the same photograph of Kate Middleton, who, by the way, looked stunning and spectacular, and they've removed the earring. 
In fact, in this circle that this user is denouncing, we see a rather strange blurriness under what is supposed to be Kate Middleton's ear. There are others who go further and say it's not Kate Middleton, that they are not reusing the photograph, it's Ross Hamburg. I think that's going too far to suggest that William is leaving his house with his mistress. I think that's already too much, but as I'm showing on the screen, some users on social media are denouncing it. It's true that the theory that this photo, both of William and Kate Middleton, is fake is gaining more and more traction within social media. The resemblance is noticeable, Kate Middleton's face cut, the turned neck of Kate Middleton, everything, absolutely everything, recalls that photograph. We even notice, although the photo doesn't show the colors too well, the same tie, the same style of tie by William when he was holding hands with his young son, as I say, on this December 25, 2023, Christmas Day, a day that, as we see, promised to be very happy and probably without knowing what would happen a few weeks later. The sad story behind all this tells us again that Kate Middleton is not well, she's delicate. Some suggest she's even worse than what we've been told. She feels sore, but the reality is quite different. William and Kensington Palace have once again failed to protect Kate Middleton. They thought secrecy would achieve something, but they are actually achieving the opposite. If it's confirmed for the third time that we're faced with a fake photo, I don't know what will happen. If people will directly start rioting in the vicinity of Delay de Coat, part of Windsor Castle, but something is going to happen, and it's going to be truly serious. As we see, many users notice certain oddities and irregularities in this new photograph, and many even pinpoint date and location. All of this happens after not only the Photoshop allegations in the Mother's Day photo in England, published by Kensington Palace, but also, as we discussed in a video yesterday. But in case you haven't had the chance to see it, there's talk that the cover of the June issue of Vogue from years ago is precisely the photo used to prove that Kate Middleton is, in quotes, alive today because the British press says so. It's a proof of life they wanted to demonstrate, and they've achieved, as we see, the opposite effect. They are not only using photos from fashion magazines, not only using photos from the past, but they are lying to us again or would deceive us again, and this, logically, has once again sparked all sorts of theories regarding the Princess of Wales. Many still wonder if she's alive, and many even wonder if it's really Kate Middleton in this photograph because we only see her in passing, and from what we see, many point out it resembles that last major appearance of Kate Middleton, which we cannot doubt, it was indeed on December 25, 